Hey, welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys are having a great day. I wanted to talk a little bit in this video about swirl marks and how to prevent them. And swirl marks are the little abrasion micro scratches that you'll see on your paint over time. Usually the worst being black. You'll see if you'd walk up to an older black car, you'll see these swirl marks in the paint. And usually that's what happens is, is little bits of dirt and debris actually build up and then we touch the paint whether we're cleaning it or we actually just rub up against it but usually it's going through automatic car washes and that dirt and grime even though it's being washed away will actually scratch the surface before we get a chance to clean it properly now as great as automatic car washes are they're very convenient and a lot of times they're really not that expensive they do cause a lot of harm to the exterior of our paint so my big advice to you is prevent yourself from needing to do that and usually you need to go through an automatic car wash if there's a lot of buildup of grime on your vehicle now to prevent that it means you must wash your car more frequently and what that does is it keeps the grime buildup down so that you don't have to I always say not touch your vehicle and what that means is go out and power wash you can go up to your local car wash and use their handheld power washing wands and you can do that and do it yourself you just have to do it often enough that you don't have to run it through your car wash because if you let it go too long if you have too much grime that builds up over time what will happen is is when you go to do it yourself and you'll use the wand it won't get everything off and you'll be left unhappy with the final product after you've cleaned your vehicle so I thought today what I do is make this video talking about these key points and show you guys how I effectively clean my vehicle with a professional wand at the car wash um, and I'll go over some of the techniques that I use there are professional car detailers out there that know a lot of information but I've watched a lot of videos I've I've read a a lot of good information so I picked up a lot of the basic essentials that a lot of people may not know and again it may be more that it's a convenience factor for you to go through the car wash but if you have a sports car especially it's going to be worth taking that extra step to just help your paint last a lot longer and look a lot better you there are compounds out there that help with them but really just preventing it is your biggest step to prolonging your paint life um, so I have a black Acura TL and I'm just starting again it's over 10 years old and I'm starting to see a little bit of the swirls but really for the most part it looks pretty good I get a lot of compliments on the paint of my vehicle um, even after all these years and I have over 200,000 miles so it's not like it's been a garage kept uh, vehicle it's just it's not a garage queen it does it. it's my everyday driver and it gets driven a lot so again my paint looks pretty good and I've always been really happy with it and my biggest tip again is just to keep it clean more often and not to touch it even just washing at home is great but if you're in there and you're scrubbing it down it's just so easy to add those micro scratches so if you can again do it quick enough and early enough and keep up with it all you should have to do is go to the car wash for the most part and rinse it down now obviously sometimes life gets in the way and we just can't do that and that's when it is okay every now and then to run it through. I try never to but it is okay every great once in a while but again it just adds to those micro scratches that build up over time which are the swirl marks. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually jump in the Acura and we're going to head up to my local car wash and I'm going to show you guys how exactly I wash the vehicle and you can kind of just watch the video. Um, I'll speed it up so you don't have to you know watch the whole thing. Um, usually it takes me about eight minutes. That's how long my, I put in a $5 bill and it gives me eight minutes and what I'll do is I'll run through a few steps and I'll do a quick pre-soak I like to do a pre-soak because it's actually a different soap and it softens the debris up instead of hitting it with all of that straight-on soap power um, there's a lot of power that comes out of a power washer obviously and I like it when it's a lighter mist and I just coat the car first let it break down that grime first for a second and then I'll go through with the hot soap then I'll go through with the hot wash and then I will go through with with the uh, spot free rinse um, but let's head up there and uh, I'll show you guys again how I do my car washes
I added some insight for you guys on how I actually wash my vehicle. As you guys saw, I actually went from the uh, pre-soak to the um, full soap, um, which is a hot soap, and then the rinse, and then you go for the spot free. Now, once you uh, finish your spot free, what you guys didn't see is I usually take it up to my local uh, closest highway I can get to, and I try and get up to speed. I find 80 to 90 miles an hour actually is the best bet for getting all those extra droplets off the side of the vehicle. Um, those are what usually kind of stick on if you don't uh, um, dry it properly, and that keeps me from having to take a rag, again, touching the vehicle and adding to those swirl marks so try and just use a air drying uh, uh, feature whether you have one at your local uh, car wash or if you just have uh, a highway that you want to jump on and uh, air dry it that way uh, either will work but just don't touch the vehicle that's one of the uh, main points that I'm trying to get across um, so yeah guys I hope uh, again this video was informational for you I hope you enjoyed it if you did please smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already and if you guys have any questions or concerns please drop them in the comments below love to hear what you you think or again if you have any questions I'd be happy to answer anything um, but you guys have a great day and take care I'll see you tomorrow